Hello and welcome to Aftersound Review and this is my review for Final Audio A4000. First of all, thank you for CSI Zone for providing me with this review unit. And I should say that it's quite rare for me to review a Japanese Fi because I usually review Chai Fi. Okay, anyway, this is one of the latest creation from Final Audio and as far as I know, they released the latest products uh, A3000, A4000, also the Kengen Sichia, I forget what is it, but in collaboration with Dita Audio, also the quite famous A8000 that is using a beryllium driver. So this is actually one of their cheapest latest creation, but it's still quite around uh, under 200 bucks. And it's quite unique because the form factor is really similar to those the, like the A8000. Okay, just like usual, I will review them from the build, fit, frequency, response, sound, and comparison. Right from the build quality itself, hmm, I don't think they that they look like a very expensive IM because they're using ABS housing, which is a terms of a kind of plastic, and they do feels really light in my hand, but they feels really solid and. I don't know, really smooth, so it feels like a high quality IM even though they are really really light to the touch. And somehow it has unique texture, it's like a combination of plastic and rubber I think because I I think that there's it's not completely smooth, it's just the texture is quite unique. And they are using proprietary 2 pin connectors which is quite a shame because I need to show you that I hope you can see this part it's there's something around this part that is protruding from its inside so you need to have this kind of hole it's not a hole actually this part so it could fit this I am perfectly you cannot fit a third party to pin connectors with this I am because it will not fit the connectors here and the cable itself it feels really thin and not so durable I might say but it's really flexible and somehow feels high quality it's it's really flexible and feels really soft to the touch it's just the terms of durability that I'm quite concerned of because how thin they are and this part this is the ear guide which is quite unique I've never seen this kind of ear guide in any brand aside from the A4000 it feels good and definitely helps the fitting for them and for the fitting for me this is one of the best fit I've ever tried in any IMs yes I'm not kidding I don't know who designed them and they really for me they really give a lot of thought to it because they feel really flushed into my ears I have small Asian ears and they sit perfectly with perfect balance and I could definitely wear them for hours it's just such a genius fit and let's talk about the frequency response for the frequency response of the final audio a4000 as usual you can access this in my link I could describe this as v-shaped ish bright because there's an emphasis in the lower region also the upper region and is it and this is compared to the X1, the GX01, which is my neutralist IM. IM, this is my most neutral IM, and you can see that why I call them V shape. The emphasis on the base and also the upper mid to travel is more than this X1 energy. There, therefore, it's giving more energy both in both ends. And for me, actually, this peak around the 3 to 8k giving a lot of brilliance a lot of brightness to it but it never goes uh, bad for me it's one of the I think for me the for treble heads you will like this kind of sound because it's still in a controlled way and quite even for the treble area and this is how is it compared to the Harman neutral ish I am such as the Mudra PXSS the Moondrop EXSS has better lower mid range, more I mean more lower mid range, and also the treble is much more rolled off faster than this A4000, thus giving smoother sound and more relaxing sound. Yeah, this IM 
simply can be categorized as U-shaped or V-shaped ish bread because of how it is emphasizing the low ends also the upper ends around the 3 to 8k so I tried to play my this Final Audio A4000 with my FX DSD Julius 5K and also my iBell Studio X160 and also my phone my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and somehow even though it doesn't really tell in the specification this IM is quite hard to drive even though from the specification alone it is have a hundred sensitivity and impedance of 18 ohms but yeah I just tell you that in reality it's quite hard to drive so I don't uh, expect you to drive them from phone because it doesn't give them enough justice okay let's start from the tonality itself it's definitely fall into category v-shape but it's a really good v-shape in a specialized kind of tuning for me it's more tuned towards the quality of the upper mid-range and also the bass okay let's talk about the uh, the sound of this I am from the bass the bass itself is really good for me it could that it could dig deep and really punchy and having a this kind of fast thump to it you know feels like a very su fast sub bass punch and you in a lot of song I hear them so it's a really good kind of bass but I it's maybe not for bass head but nevertheless the bass quality is really good and it's quite fast so if you're a fan of rock music I still I still quite like them with this I am it's really fast and really dig deep that's what I'm saying so it's really good quality bass and the mid range is actually I should say it's the my least favorite part of this I am because the low mid is definitely lacking so there's a hollowness when you hear male vocal like just Robin or Il Divo those male vocals who have a lot of weight on their notes it doesn't really have that kind of energy in this IM it's just simply too thin and not as powerful not as weighty as I would like them to be and the treble area I should say that it is my favorite part of this IM, especially the upper mid range treble area. It is really open sounding and also extended. And no matter what kind of instruments you throw at them, especially like violins or maybe piano, it just really feels heavenly. The sparkle is really right and it's a bit pushed, I know but the clarity and so the speed and cleanness of it it's really something i mean at the budget of 300 and below i have never heard this kind of upper mid range and treble that is so suitable for music for single instruments like uh, violin or piano and also really suitable for orchestra music for example tokyo philharmonic orchestra or the soundtracks from like lord of the rings or maybe the maybe some games like the Assassin's Creed there's a lot of violin somehow and for me they are really suitable for it and it's just really satisfying the treble upper metal treble area the high notes are really really good in this IM they are really clean really fast and really detailed and talking about technicality actually the soundstage is not that big it's more about this kind of uh, sm not small ball it's just a uh, average kind of sound stage it, it doesn't really have this a lot of width or a lot of depth or a lot of depth but it's quite convincing as a 3d imaging but the good part about this IM is definitely the detail because the detail is really good especially when you tried a lot of complex music like the orchestra from two steps from hell or maybe tokyo philharmonic orchestra it just gives you a lot of elements that i've never heard at this price point it's just really really detailed and really well separated so i'm quite amazed because this is only a single dynamic driver i am and it performs in such a really great level okay it's time for comparison there's a lot of comparison here like the this the tfz essence also this is the moondrop kxss also my one of my daily favorite the tense gym 
oxygen. They are all using a single dynamic driver, but they sound very different. I should say that if we are talking about tonality, the tangium oxygen and also the majority excesses is more towards generalist, so it's more of a kind of all-rounder sounding items. This sounds really all-rounder, no matter what kind of genre you throw at them, they always sound good or at least enough because for me they are really all-rounder but they are not as specialized as these two. The TFZ Essence is for those who have a craving for bass, so it's 100% for bass heads. It has the biggest and punchiest and the boldest bass compared to them all. But the mid-range and treble is the it's my least favorite of them all. It's just the bass is just awesome in this TFZ Essence. But for my personal preference, the, the, I like this Final Audio A4000 bass better. It's just <coughs> a lot quicker and cleaner for my taste. But for me, the special, special thing about this Final A4000, it's not about the bass, but it's more about its high notes, especially the upper mid range to the treble area. It gives all the best detail out of them all and the best extension also sparkle of them all but the, that being said maybe just maybe i perceive that this a4000 is the thinnest of them all so if you have problem with thin sounding ims uh, maybe i don't recommend you to try this a4000 but if you like those kind of genre i just told you instrumentals or maybe uh, orchestral songs or classical I definitely recommend you to try this A4000 just like I said because at even at 300 bucks price point that I've ever tried there's none of the irons that I've ever tried could come close to this A4000 in terms of cleanness and this special treble that I've been talking about this whole review and when it comes to comparison with this, my favorite Tajim Oxygen, Tajim Oxygen is just have this some cleanness to it. So there's a, you know, there, when we're talking about I am, there's a black background thing that is rarely being discussed. For me, these two IMs are special because of how good the black background is compared to this TFC Essence or this Tajim, uh, sorry, this Moondrop Excess. These two feels more dirty compared to these two because how clean they are how black the background is but it's just like i said before this is one more special twice towards the v-shaped kind of song with a lot of treble openness and this tangent oxygen is more about the regular kind of sound so it's much more average tuning no no not average tuning i mean it's much more all-rounder the vocal have a lot uh, have meteor vocal on it it's just more weighty it's so and also sweeter so for me the vocal if I'm gonna choose for vocals Tajim Oxygen is definitely what I pick but when I choose instruments I pick this Final i4000 so that's all for me I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any question please write down in the comments below and see you next time bye bye